Hey guys, my name is Eddie and welcome back to another breakdown of one of my favorite sports announcers today as someone who's from the Pittsburgh area. I am so excited to break down the king of catchphrases himself, the man who spent a 45-year career broadcasting for the NHL's Pittsburgh Penguins, Mike Lang. I'm going to take a look at five Mike Lang clips from the 2009 Penguins Cup run and break down why he's one of the best in the business at his job, and I hope you guys enjoy. Flicked it up left side to Carter at two on one. Carter left side, Penguins in. Flick it in front. Shuts up, rebound. Shutter stop and rob by Flurry. Oh, a 2 11 in progress there. Back come the Penguins. Now, this first clip is from the first round against the Flyers, and one of the things that made Mike Lang so great is that he always captured the rising intensity of a given play by raising his voice. So you can see that here in this Marc Andre Fleury save. He's also very concise here, which is something I talk about a lot in my announcer breakdowns. He points out the two on one and then quickly notes that the Penguins are chasing back into the defensive zone by just saying Penguins in, which is really good technique. You want to keep what you're saying as quick as possible because you want to always be focused on where the puck is and you want to always follow what's going on directly into play while also providing as much information as you can. So a very good buildup, a very good call. And also using the police code for a robbery by saying there's a 2-1-1 in progress. Uh, just so, so great. King ahead is Crosby. The right side of Malkin moved between the circles. Wrist shot. Hey! So this clip allows me to explain some of the difference between what is expected whenever you're announcing games over the radio when there's no visual for the viewer and when there is a visual and you're announcing on TV or over YouTube for this Evgeny Malkin goal. So what Mike Lang does well here is that he keeps up with the play. He mentions how Malkin moves from the right side to the circles and it shows that you know great attention to detail. The, whoever's listening in knows exactly where Malkin is. They can close their eyes and they can still vision the play, which is exactly what you want to be doing when you're announcing on radio. So very good at painting that picture. Comes around, threw it in front. The Penguins are there waiting. And cleared by Fedotenko. Talba takes off, gets to the puck. Capitals in, wrist shot. Hey! This clip is showing Max Talbot, and it's another clip that shows really good technique on this goal, that the Penguins are waiting back in the defensive zone to pick up the puck. And also, if you pay attention to the words that Mike Lang uses as the pace of the play changes, he goes from a slower pace of play, he's saying longer sentences, he can be more descriptive, and then whenever the Penguins break out, then he's able to be much shorter because he has to be much quicker in order to follow the puck and becomes much more concise. His inflection changes a lot as well. You can really tell the buildup of the play going on as it's happening just through the just through how you're hearing his voice. Here's Malkin behind the goal. Turns around. Comes out. Back in shot. Oh! Now this one comes to you very fast, it's another Malkin goal, and the way that he quickly gets to turns around backhand shot on the play itself, and then the catchphrase as well, it's great, he's always providing a creativity, and this was a crucial goal, um, Eastern Conference final playing the Hurricanes, it was a sweep for the Penguins, it got them to that rematch against the Red Wings in the Stanley Cup, so uh, the way that Mike Lang presented this as a big moment for Malkin, big moment for the team in this series. It was very, very cool. I really, really like this call, how quickly he can pick up on what the play is doing and how quickly he can contribute to the goal that Malkin is scoring. So we'll now fast forward to game six of the Stanley Cup Finals in what many people consider to be Mike Lang's best call of the entire playoffs and doesn't even involve a goal. So Penguins Red Wings, game six of the Stanley Cup. Back to play, face off. Rafalski's got a wrist shot off the boards. Deflected in behind the cage. Gonchar looking for it. Scrambling to get it. It's Talbot with it. Please it up the sideboards. Up the center ice. Time will tick down. And I'll meet you in the schoolyard, baby, for all the marbles on Friday night in Detroit. Now, this is one of the most iconic moments of the entire season. The Penguins just won game six of the Stanley Cup, and... 
one of the greatest ever catchphrases used by Mike Lang is the I'll meet you in the schoolyard for all the marbles, referring to the fact that the Pens are going to go back to Detroit to play Game 7. It's a very exciting way to build tension for that final game of the season. And also with the description, so before the game is over, in the last 10 seconds, how you can once again just close your eyes. He paints a picture of where the puck is. He also raises his inflection whenever the time is running down to the final few seconds. It's one of the signs of just someone who's that experienced, that great at the role that he's doing. And it's a very, very good call over radio. So that's it. The 2009 Stanley Cup playoffs through the voice of Mike Lang, one of the greatest to ever do it. What are your favorite Mike Lang moments throughout his career? And what announcer would you like to see me do next? Thanks for watching. And until next time, goodbye. Second. They drop it, and they got to the right point. Here's Wabalski shooting. Never got through. Loose puck down to the net. Save made rebound. Oh, big save by Fury. And it is. That's it. The Pittsburgh Penguins have won this hockey game. The Penguins have won the Stanley Cup. And Lord Stanley, scratch their names on your fabled cup. The Pittsburgh Penguins are Stanley Cup champions.